You can't pick up any product today without seeing an attached barcode. Like sequential numbers, barcodes can be very useful for inventory control and management. The barcodes automate the input of data. Efficiencies are realized when you have a lot of data to input and or accuracy is critical. There are many types of readers from the expensive grocery store scanners to handheld scanners you see at the retail cash register or library checkout. One such reader is the symbol LS2208 with USB connection. This handheld scanner is readily available from Amazon at a reasonable price, around $160 including stand. Of course, buying a barcode reader and printing labels is only part of the solution. You also need a program and process for entering the scan data. As you can imagine, there are any number of software programs from the simple to the very sophisticated that utilize barcodes. My goal in this video is to show you how to create barcodes one at a time in the next video, I'll cover reading into Design Pro, an Excel or Access file and automatically generating labels. This is often referred to as merging. Then in the final video, we'll merge the same Excel and Access files and automatically generate a barcode from each part number. Let's get started. Using the 5262 label, Let's see how the insert barcode tool works. 5262, click OK, zoom to 200%, click insert barcode. Let's create three barcodes. If you want to create individual barcodes, you can't create a master. You have to click on Label 1 to start. Draw a box and enter 12341. One, click outside the box. You now have a barcode you can move around. Right-click inside the box and click Format Barcode. There are several types of barcodes. Click on the drop-down arrow to see the list. The UPC codes or Universal Product Codes are by far the most commonly used in retail from grocery stores to hardware stores. But UPC codes require more precise printing with tighter tolerances, which your printer may not be able to consistently maintain. The other barcodes are more basic, and I would suggest the code 128 type A, B, and C. This code allows you to enter alpha characters as well as numeric. Under parameters, I would check calculate check digit, display plain text, and adjust size. The calculate check digit calculates a single digit using the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 and adds the check digit to the end of the barcode. The scanner automatically scans 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 and independently calculates the check digit. The two check digits should match. If they don't, there's an error and the scanner keeps scanning. This process ensures a high percentage of accuracy. You want to display plain text in case the barcode is too scratched or smeared. With the text displayed, you can enter the barcode on a keypad. Finally, you want to be able to adjust the size of the barcode to make sure it's big enough to easily scan without wasting label space. Click OK. 
Generally, you would have text near the barcode. We have room on the left to add text, so click on the Insert Text tool. And type in description manufacturer and cost. and center the text vertically. Now let's create another barcode of the same length. Click Copy Tab. And the barcode box. Backspace and replace 1 with 2. Finally, let's make one more barcode. Click Copy Tab Backspace and replace 2 with 3. Click Print Preview. Zoom to 100%. Three barcodes with text. Many small businesses sooner or later discover how to create an Excel spreadsheet or even an access database to keep track of parts or supplies. If so, it's possible to read these files into Design Pro and automatically create labels like you see. In the next video, I'll cover this process often referred to as merging.